With millions of vehicles on the road, getting into a cluster, it's a frequent occurrence. But when you have a long trailer behind a big truck, you want to avoid those clusters as much as possible. And that calls for strategic driving. So let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with Trainer Allen, your OTR driving instructor. Today we're talking about strategic driving and what that means, how to stay out of clusters. Because let's be honest, the most moving accidents happen when you're in a cluster. So how do we avoid those clusters? Well, first and foremost, you need to plan your trip and your times appropriately. Make sure that when you're planning those trips, that you don't have yourself going through major cities at heavy traffic times. Okay, that's the number one way to avoid clusters. Okay, stay away from heavy traffic, plain and simple. Um, second, keep your head up. You know, look as far as you can down the road in front of you and in your mirrors as far as you can behind you. So that way you always know what's coming from in front and behind, okay? Watch for brake lights. Number three, watch for brake lights and other warning signs. Um, when I say other warning signs, I mean, you know, you've, you've been seeing traffic moving, okay, coming at you on the other side of the road for a while, and all of a sudden there's a big long break, okay? What does that mean? Well, it might not mean much, nothing at all, but it might mean that there's been a huge accident up ahead, okay? So watch for those things. Another thing that you can do, leave a space cushion. No matter what, you should never have less than six seconds distance between you and the vehicle in front of you on the interstate. Never less than six seconds and preferably more, but never less than six seconds. Okay. This allows you to see as far as you can, because if you are, you know, two to three seconds behind another big truck, guess what? You cannot see far enough down the road to have any idea what's going on in front of you. So make sure you leave that space cushion in front of you. Uh, number five, use the proper lane for your speed. Okay. If you're passing people, boom, 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 you need to stay to the left. If you find that you're passing someone every now and then, then you should probably stay to the right when you're not passing them, okay? Don't be just out there in that hammer lane all day just getting on down the road at five miles under the speed limit, okay? That is a main way to cause a cluster. The very thing that you want to avoid, you will create. Don't do that. Um, communicate properly. Number six, use your brakes and your turn signals appropriately, okay? Don't be tapping your brakes every 10 seconds just because of whatever. You get scared for a second even though you've got a mile in front of you without any traffic, okay? You don't need to use them when you don't need to use them, okay? Um, but use them when you need to use them and use them appropriately. Uh, you know, the people behind you can see your brake lights and make decisions based on those brake lights. Use your turn signals. Again, people behind you need to know what you're doing, okay? In fact, people in front of you, they may be getting ready to change lanes. They look in their mirror. They see that your, your turn signal is on to go into that lane. Hopefully, if they're smart, they'll wait. Do they always? No. Some people are just jerks, and they're going to go out in front of you as fast as they can to try to keep from being behind that big truck, right? Okay? But, again, that comes to watching. Pay attention to what's going on. Okay? So, communicate properly. Number seven, don't fall prey to road rage. Okay, listen, so what? A car five miles back did something stupid. Okay, you doing something stupid doesn't fix their stupid. Okay, you doing something stupid isn't going to help the situation. Okay, and sometimes for no apparent reason at all to you, somebody's going to get mad at you and they're going to they're going to pull up beside you, holler out the window, flipping them the bird isn't going to help your situation. Okay, smile, just keep on going down the road, ignore them. 
They might get in front of you. Slow way down. Guess what? Slow way down. Okay? Slow down faster than they slow down. But nonetheless, slow down. Stay out of a road rage situation as much as you can. And by all means, don't get the road rage yourself. Okay? Remember, everybody out there is doing what they believe they're supposed to be doing at the time. For whatever reason that is, no matter how stupid it may seem to you, they're doing what they believe they're supposed to be doing. Okay? You getting mad about it, ruining your day over it, doesn't help anything. And in fact, it makes your day worse and can make a lot of other people's days worse. So, don't fall prey to road rage. And the number eight way and final way for this strategic driving and staying out of clusters is patience. Okay? It's what so much of driving boils down to. Just simply being patient. Okay? Things aren't always going to go your way. That's okay. Calm down. Slow down. Breathe. Be patient. Okay? You don't know what each individual's situation is on the road around you. You have no idea. Okay? They don't know your situation. So, practice patience and, you know, whatever you do, make sure you leave a big space, space cushion around you at all times as much as is in your power to do so. Will it always be possible to avoid a cluster? Nope, it sure won't. But where it depends on you and you doing the right thing, you can definitely keep yourself out of a lot more clusters than what you've probably been going through. So practice those eight things and see if that doesn't help your day be a little less stressful and keep you out of those dangerous clusters. That's all for today. Between now and next time, you keep that shiny side up, keep that greasy side down, and we will catch you on the flip-flop.